In this video I'm going to walk you through using the Lamont Color Q Pro 7 test kit. I have a separate video detailing the kit itself. I'm going to go over in this video specifically how to use all seven test factors. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is get a water sample with the sample bottle included. I'm going to go ahead and get a sample of the water. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is take one of the test tubes, make sure it's clean and dry. Go ahead and add the water sample to this black line here, which is a 5 ml line. This button here on top turns the color key unit on. Okay, the first thing we're going to do after turning on the unit is blanking out the unit to get accurate readings. We're going to insert the tube with this facing forward. Go ahead and hit the button. Okay, now we're ready to do our first test, which is a free chlorine level. So we're going to go ahead and use the sample that we blanked out. So for the free chlorine test, we're going to use five drops of the DPT-1A and the DPT-1B. It's important for all the tests to hold the reagent completely vertical. We're going to go ahead and add five drops of the DPT-1B, again keeping it completely vertical like this. Okay, now we're going to place the cap on the tube. We're going to invert it once like this, back down again. You see the air bubble right here, make sure that's on top. If it's on the bottom, go ahead and just tap. That'll break up the air bubble. An air bubble on the bottom can interfere with the test results. Now you want to simply insert the sample, again with the black arrow facing forward. Okay, you'll hit this button just to give you a free chlorine reading. The free chlorine is a little bit below three parts per million. You can go ahead and remove this, hit the button again. Now we can get total chlorine. So for the total chlorine, we're going to add five drops of the DPT-3. And cap it, invert it once, insert the sample, hit the button. So there's some combined chlorine in this particular pool. Next would be bromine. We're going to skip that. If you have a spa or indoor pool using bromine, go ahead and push the button past the free chlorine, past the total chlorine. Once you get the bromine, go ahead and hit the button. That'll give you a bromine reading. Right here is 4.9 parts per million. And now we're over to the pH. We're going to use the fresh tube for all the tests using the same sample of the pool water. Okay, you're going to fill a fresh tube up with pool sample water. You're going to add five drops of the phenol red. Uncap the sample, invert it. Okay, then we're going to insert the sample, hit the button. Okay, just 7.6 here. Hit the button again. Now we're ready for the alkalinity test. We're going to add five drops of the alkalinity solution. We're going to cap it and invert it. Then we're going to insert the sample. Alkalinity is at 70. It's a little bit low in this pool. Hit the button again. We're going to do the calcium hardness test now. We're going to add five drops of the calcium hardness buffer. We're going to add five drops of the CH2. We're going to cap the sample. Invert it. Okay, we're going to insert the sample. Now we'll do the cyanuric acid level test. And okay, the cyanuric acid test is a little bit different. You have these pills. We're going to drop one into the tube, and I'm going to use this to crush it. I'm going to go ahead and fill the tube up with some water. And now I got the CYA tablet. Drop it in there. Take this crusher here. I'm going to go ahead and crush it. Then we're going to take it and invert the tube three times. We're going to let it set for two minutes. Okay, to go ahead and insert the sample, the button. The CYA level at this pool is 34 parts per million. After you completed the CYA test, you can push the button to go back to blank or hold the button down to turn the unit off. That's a look at using the Lamont Color Q Pro 7 to do the seven test factors in your swimming pool. Also make sure the reagents are fresh. You'll see an expiration date here. If the reagents are old, test results won't be accurate. If the color cue turned off while you're waiting to do your testing, go ahead and blank out the unit one more time with sample water. Or if you're doing the test out of order, go ahead and blank out the unit each time. You also want to make sure you perform the test out of direct sunlight. The sun could interfere with the photometer and the color cue. After you're done testing, go ahead and rinse out the tubes. Go ahead and use this brush here to clean them out. So if any of the levels are too high in your testing, 
you'll see the high appear on the screen. And if you see the letter LO appear here, that means that the test is too low. The results are below the effective measuring range. So if the chlorine level is too high, it's going to show high on the display here. If you're testing a pool with very high chlorine levels, over 10 parts per million, you can do a diluted test. In that case, what you can do is fill the tube at 2.5 ml of sample pool water. You can fill the rest up with either deionized water here or distilled water. So that means that the chlorine level is actually 12 parts per million. So whether you're a homeowner or a pool service professional, you'll find that the Lamotte Color Q Pro 7 is a great way to test your pool and spa water.